Hello guys, um, it's been quite a long time since I made a YouTube video, but I've decided I might try to get back into the swing of it, so uh, today I'm going to start a video showing how to, uh, how to code Python. So, uh, basically, alright, well, before I start, I want to say if there's any mic issues, yeah, I'm sorry about that, I'm working on getting a better mic maybe I still don't know yet but until I do if I do then bear with me um, okay so in my videos I'm going to be using Python 3.2 uh, actually but they've just released or no, I'll be using 3.3.2 but you pretty much only need Python 3 there's the differences are really small so uh so there's a huge difference between Python 3 and Python 2 though and I'm going to be using Python 3 because although there's a lot of things that they still have to do for Python 3 as far as um modules go there is I I'm going to say that it's better to go with the more up to date type of things than it is to use old older um versions so I'm going to be using Python 3 and my text editor will be Sublime Text 2 now you can download of course both of these for free and uh, Sublime Text 2 is uh, it's free if you read right here it can be evaluated for free but there's no time limit for your evaluation so pretty much it's free totally um, I mean, but anyway, I'll provide links in the description for both of these. If you, um, if you have, and this is for Windows. Now, obviously, if you use Linux or Mac, then um, I don't. I actually don't know about Linux, but Mac. Then you'll just click this if you're uh, on a uh, Mac. Then if you're on Windows, you'll click this for 32-bit, and this for 64-bit and uh, you would just uh, run those of course I already have Python installed but uh, you'll run those and after you install it you should have Python on your hard drive mm. I mean of course you guys should know how to download things and install but uh, after you install it you should have a folder on your hard drive that says that's called Python 33 Alright, so you can go in it and you'll have all your stuff. But um but there's one thing that you need to do first. Uh you need to go click your Windows button or start and on computer or my computer, right click it and go to properties and um and now you're gonna click advanced system settings wherever it is and also while we're here if you don't know how to tell if your computer is 32-bit or 64-bit this is where it tells you right here so uh, anyway so click advanced system settings <clears throat> and uh, wait for it <laughs> alright now you'll see environment variables down here you wanna click that and on the bottom half you want to scroll down this until you find the path variable here it is so you want to click it and you want to click edit now it's going to have a lot of stuff in here so and uh, you probably won't see this last portion that's on mine but um but that's that's good because that's what we're going to be adding so what you want to do is um press end or go to the end of that box in variable value and if it doesn't have a semicolon at the end then put one but if it does then just leave it uh, so mine doesn't have one so I'm gonna put a semicolon and a semicolon there shows that that's the end of one of the uh, values so now what you're going to do is you're going to add the directory to your Python uh, exe or your Python executable so what you want to do is if you installed it just to your hard drive then you're going to say c colon backslash p 
python33 backslash python.exe then put another semicolon to denote the end of that and then you would hit OK now since I already have that um, path variable in mine I don't really need it again see here's mine right here but uh, so you're going to hit OK and um, now you're going to hit OK again OK again and uh, yeah, you can close that out so now you should have Python 3 installed and the way you can uh, test this is go to start run type in cmd this is going to bring up your command prompt now uh, you should if you did your path variable correctly you should just be able to type python and hit enter and it should load up your python um, interpreter now now you're actually in python right now like you could do you can actually put in your python code right here uh, but you would have to type it in line by line by line and that's pretty inconvenient unless you're just wanting to do some quick prototyping things to be like oh let's see what this does or something but um, otherwise you're going to want to use a text editor and that's where our uh, sublime text editor comes in and uh, so once you've installed sublime text 2 you should be able to do this uh, you should be able to open it up now uh, op yours won't say this obviously this is my build thing so uh, so you can have this now to I'll go ahead and tell you how to change your colors and stuff like that if you want to they have a lot of themes right here and they really look cool so uh, I'm using Espresso Libre or I guess that's how I say it I never took Spanish I'm sorry <laughs> but uh and then also you want to whenever you uh, when you write your Python see sublime can be used for a lot of different languages which you can set in view syntax and then you would find them so you can go down here and check Python now you can do that or you can just uh, save your file and whenever you save it it um, normally if you don't set your syntax to Python it will just be uh, it'll be like all files or let me see if it has it. Uh, yeah alright normally you'll say all files right here when you go to save it so you can just be like uh, youtube.py now you want to put .py on the end because that's your extension for python files and when you do that it'll automatically say oh okay you're programming python and so whenever you go to put in your python things then it's going to recognize the uh, python syntax so that's how you uh, pretty much get your your sublime set up there's one last thing you need to do you need to go to tools build system and check python what this is going to do is it's going to allow sublime text 2 to uh, actually run your python code in the uh, in sublime text editor so whenever we do things it will i mean you won't have to go find your file and double click it to run it you can just uh, run it right here in the editor so as our last thing just to test in your text editor and python we're going to do a hello world program so what you want to, what you want to type is print and then you're going to open parentheses and put quotation marks and then type hello world close your quotation marks close your parentheses now if it worked correctly we can go ahead and save this if it worked correctly you should be able to press control B if you're on Windows or you can go the long way around and go to tools and hit build and it should show it should pop up this section down here and it should say hello world finished in a certain amount of seconds so um, if you get that then you did everything correctly and uh, that's about it for today. I guess my, my next video I'll start on the actual Python language, but today it was just for uh, setting setting things up. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you stay tuned for future videos on Python. And uh, I'll see you guys later.